Hey everyone, so today we're going to be continuing our series of finding opportunities in the market where we can efficiently make the most amount of profits as possible. Now, today we're going to be building again off another case study, and this is going to be on ATVI, who is reporting earnings, right, their, their quarterly financials, Monday, February 6th, after the market closed. So let's get right into this, because today we're going to be talking about building a structure and a framework. So that way, we can spend more time focusing on the niche details and less time on our processes. So first, let's go over what exactly is going on with Activision, right? That's obviously the most important thing because your standard earnings trade is very similar. They're going to release their financials. You compare it to the optics and the metrics that you think are the best. Done. Now, sometimes there are intangible and intangible variables that are coming into play which are harder to quantify which basically means it's harder to say how much of effect this is going to have right and that is one of the things that is happening with activision when for example here this is an article by bloomberg a couple of days ago microsoft receives eu's list of concerns about activision deal commission is conducting an in-depth probe and has a deadline to make a decision by april 11th so basically um the EU is now concerned about Activision's um, buyout agreements with Microsoft. Basically, Microsoft is trying to take over Activision, if you did not know that. And there's some legal issues co- going on, not just there, but in the US as well, a little bit. So this could be incorporating some risk factors that may not be on the surface for ATVI. That's important to remember, right? That is crucial, hard to quantify, but it's crucial. Next thing, looking at EPS, it's also a little important. Just again, market sentiment, right? Trying to figure out, you know, why this looks good before we actually look at the numbers. Like, why are people talking about Activision? Why are people buying options on Activision, etc.? We can also see that they are expected a monster quarter. I mean, an absolute monster quarter. And think about why this is, right? Christmas time, right? I mean, look at this. I mean, look, it was just like this last year. I mean, not the same growth trajectory, but just like this last year. They do really well in the holiday season. So that being said, it could be kicking up the implied move on ATVI, which obviously is going to kick up the premium. So let's take a look here. On ticker symbol ATVI, we have an implied move versus average move of 1.52. This means that the market is implying 52% or 1.52 times higher than what Activision usually realizes, what it actually moves. And that's on the right here, 5.62% implied. 3.96% 3.96% realized, right? We also can see this is actually a higher implied move than usually than what the market usually implies on this, which is 1.05. So this remembers what we get paid for, right? We get paid for this happening and this continuing. This is a nice cherry on the cake. It basically means that the market is over or the market is expecting even a bigger move than what it usually is. In this case, only slightly bigger. It's only 0.05 above that ratio. Now, looking at why this exists, one of the big reasons might be this max realized move of 14.06%. And this happened back in 2021, in November, where we saw a realized move of 14% to the downside when the market was implying five and a quarter. That is a huge drawdown. And that can be reflected here. If you were selling straddles, you would have taken a 116% loss. However, in the long run, we can see this is an extremely profitable trade with returns north of 370% over the last couple of years dating back to 2019. So with all of this being said, the optics look great. Now, one question I have is, is this the key? Is the back test the key, the overall PL? is that the key? Or is the key what it is implying currently versus what it usually realizes? Personally, I think this is a great touch. This shows that this strategy of just selling options every single quarter on ATVI, regardless of what you know the ratios and whatever the other metrics say, is usually good. That's great, right? However, you probably wouldn't want to be selling ATVI on something, I don't know, like like this, right? Implying four, right? Which is kind of almost right around its average move. And then you get hit with a nine and a half percent move. I mean, that would have been, you know, I believe that was a 87% loss. Yeah. So I still think that the implied versus average move is key, but the back test is always crucial as well. Lastly, continuing our data analysis, we can see that the implied move is kicked up. This is most likely due to the Bloomberg news and the fear and uncertainty surrounding that. However, being that we're not going to, you know, there isn't a deadline until April 11th, doesn't really sound like there's a whole lot of 
um, news that's probably going to come out on the Activision side. If anything, I think it would be from Microsoft. Next, looking at the bell curve, we can see that our implied move is certainly above where this usually realizes, which is this green bell curve here. But we do see this tail risk here to the upside or this tail risk here to the moves, right? This is why we get paid, remember, for the events of this, these little humps over here to the right. Don't want those to happen, but it's the trick of the trade. It's how it goes. So looking at that, last thing to do, guys, is we're just going to take a look at relative value here and just make sure that the options are reflecting that the move is truly baking in higher than what it usually does. So what I mean by that is we're going to run an ATVI IV30 versus its non-event IV30. And what this is going to show us is how much this spread usually widens throughout time. We can see that this looks great, right? This looks excellent, in fact. So we can see this big, big, big blue line here, right? 42%. That's its implied volatility for the next uh, 30 days, 42%. Or, oh, that's Apple. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, that's that is a huge typo. I thought I already hooked up to ATVI. All right, uh, one sec. All right, now we're good. Okay, cool. Okay, going back here, you can see that it's a little bit tighter. We have seen that this has kicked up substantially, um, to 1.17 off the Bloomberg news. Um, which again, I think it's just off the Bloomberg news. It could just be market fear, it could just be the lead up and the hype for the earnings. Um, it is a big quarter, like I said, it's holiday season. Um, keep an eye on this on Monday, right? Uh, for members. And obviously if you're not, this might be something, you know, to just take into consideration as this is more just, you know, getting you guys to learn about, you know, how to look at and thought processes and things of that nature. So the last thing to do is structure the trade. More times than not, the best thing you're going to want to do is sell straddles, right? It's, it's the simplest, safest, best bang for your buck play. Yes, there is the infinite loss risk. However, that's why I get paid for it. Currently, right now, adjusting for our forecast volatility to around 40% after the close, assuming that we get an average move realization on the earnings, we should expect to make anywhere between 100 and 133 bucks, depending on what way it breaks. Overall, great considering, you know, our break even window is, is exceptionally wide on this regard. So, you know, obviously, if you guys, you know, wanted to trade something else, you can trade condors, you know, just you're probably not going to get the same true exposure and as you would just selling straddles um same thing with calendar spreads and things of that nature so you know whatever position you take please do your own research with structures on that goes for any trade um with regards to atvi this is more or less just an example of going through thought, thought processes i do believe that there's additional information especially with this microsoft news that um individuals should take um so in no way, shape, or form am I personally, you know, recommending this. It's just based off that risk. But there is um, really, really good metrics here that signify that there could be something here. So uh, it probably is something to definitely take a look at. Um, last thing, guys, just want to go over what we discussed. What we went over was basically building on strategies, right? We want to have a strategy. In this case, our strategy was we're looking for names, right? We found a name, ATV, the op, the numbers look good. We looked at, you know, why this could be. We have the Microsoft Fear News. We have that it is the hype surrounding, you know, holiday season, the Santa rally, et cetera, right? We can see then that we went through our data visualization. We saw how our strategy of what we're trying to do here has panned out through time, what the market is currently thinking, and what it looks like in different types of forms. Lastly, we structured out the trade to best reflect our view. Doing this again and again and again and again and again will definitely help you have this down to almost a DNA level. So that way you can spend more critical thinking time focusing on why this is here and what other factors could be at play. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Also, if you guys have any names that you would like to see, please comment down below or message me privately. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.